All right, so this is gonna be a quick video all about Python for loops. This is meant to be just an introduction to for loops as, as these things can get pretty involved, but this is just gonna be very basic. I'm gonna keep it just with the foundations of what Python for loops is all about. All right, so this is gonna be running in Python 3.8. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show is how for loops can be um, well aided with the range function. The range function basically is gonna help us figure out how many times we wanna loop through things. And that's basically the power of for loops is it's when you wanna loop something and you know how many times you want to loop through it so if I did four so if I did four I in range of let's just say five and then what I'm gonna do is print I what this I is is each each item that's in this range of five. And what range of five does is it's basically just zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, so zero through four, that's five numbers. And then so if I print for every item, this I in range five, and I run this, it's, it prints out zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, now this is kind of basic. It's just when I wanna print something out, but say I just wanted to repeat something five times, I could have printed here uh, like CS rules. Okay, now it's still gonna go through these five ranges, the zero, one, two, three, four, but instead of printing zero, one, two, three, four, it's gonna print out CS rules five times. So this is great if you know how many times you wanna loop through something. Let me show you another thing that you could do with range. If you want, you can make it go from five to, I don't know, let's just say 10 here. And what it does, he, when you do that, if I print I here, I'm running this, so it's gonna print five to 10, but it doesn't actually include the 10, so it stops right before it. So it still goes through five times. Um, from five to 10, and then but it stops right before. And so if I wanted to include the 10, I have to change this to 11, and then run through, and then it goes five through 10. So that's if you add another parameter to this range function. You could add a third one if you want as well, which is the increment for it, and you could have it count by, let's just say we want it to count by twos up until 11, but it doesn't go over 11, so just, just so you know as it's adding two. So if I run this, you can see it goes five, seven, nine. Now if I added two more, it would be 11. It doesn't actually count that endpoint. Even if I change this to a 12, or even if I change this to, let's just say I change, yeah, let's just say I change it to a 12. It, it counts the 11, but doesn't go to 12. Okay, if I change it to 10, it would never get to 10, it would stop at nine. Okay, so that's basically how to use the range function with for loops. There's another thing you can do with these range functions and it basically involves making a nested for loop. So say I wanted to print out three things for I and for each thing, each item of I, I want to print out, uh, let's just do another five things for each of these. You can do what's called a nested loop. So it's a for loop inside of a for loop. And what it's gonna do, and I'll just kind of show you the output here because it kind of explains a little bit easier. So if I run this, it says, so it says four I in range of three. So that's zero, one, two, and three. So it's gonna pick the first I, which is zero. So if you notice the zero, it goes zero here, zero here. And then it, so I is zero, and then it goes to the J's zero through five. So it's zero, 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 one, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four. Um, remember it stops at five, so it doesn't actually include the five. Um, and then it does the next number for I, which is one, and then it resets the, the loop for the J's. So it goes one, zero, one, 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 two, one, three, one, four. Then it does the twos, two, zero, two, one, two, 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 three, two, four. Okay, it stops at three, it stops before three and it stops before five. But you can kind of see how a nested loops works. For every single item here, it's gonna do every single thing in this list. Then it's gonna go to the next item. So and from zero to, for every one of these, and then it goes to the one, and then it goes through all of them. Then it does the two, and then it goes through all of them, and so on. Uh, and if you count these up, it ends up being 15, so you can just do five times three here for these loops, but if you actually count these up, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then all the way, another five is 15. So that's basically a brief intro to for loops and how they relate to the range function. If you have any questions about any of this video, let me know.